Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Any of Any Giving Sunday and I am so happy you decided to join me today for a little bathroom mini makeover tour. Um, before I go any further, if you're here you might as well hit that <laughs> subscribe button down below, turn on that bell post notification button, all of the above. And if you like what you see in this video, why don't you just give it a thumbs up? It doesn't hurt. Great. Um, before I go into this bathroom makeover tour type of thing, I want to give a little bit of context for what you were about to see, which is the before pictures. Um, so as you probably know by now, if you are not new to my channel, I am a student at Columbia Law School. Um, I currently reside in on-campus housing. I'm originally from New York, um, and I really didn't feel like going through the New York housing process, market, all of that stuff. The process for Columbia housing was very streamlined, but there are definitely some problems. Um, the major one being that you don't actually get to see the apartment that you're living in before you move in. They show you examples on, you know, admitted students weekend or admitted students day, but honestly, it was like a scramble to sign up for housing. They give you a 15 minute housing appointment slot. It's really just like, all right, you got 15 minutes to choose your housing. And if you miss your slot, like, who knows, maybe you will get housing, maybe you won't. Um, so I vividly remember being in the middle of my work day as a teacher, I had to pause, um, submit my request and I chose a room. You can see the floor plan of the apartment and you can see the floor plan of your bedroom to get a sense of how large it is or to get a sense of the square footage. Um, but you don't see anything like the state of the building, the state of the apartment, you don't know who your roommates are, all of that. So it's definitely a big risk. Um, that being said, when I showed up to my apartment, the state of the building was not satisfactory. Which like I should have known, but I guess seeing other students' um, apartments during admitted students days, I was like, okay, I can deal with this. Like this is not that bad, this is doable. Um, but my building was just like, on the edge of not doable, like very close to the edge of not doable. Um, so I did a little room makeover, which if you follow me on Instagram, hint, hint, follow me there. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. And recently my living situation changed and I now had the opportunity to give my bathroom a makeover. And I'm actually doing this for the entire apartment that I'm in. So I will be posting videos of that process or the before and after videos and giving you tours of everything. So all the more reason for you to turn on the bell notification button. So I'm gonna show you some before pictures that are not pretty, but if anything, let this just give you hope that you really can transform a space. And yeah, let's get into it. So first and foremost, going to give you a look of what it looks like now. Yeah, honestly, the bathroom at this point went from being my least favorite space in the house to probably my most favorite space in the house. So I'm gonna take it section by section and start off with this storage shelf. Now I got the small storage shelf from Marshalls. Honestly, Marshalls, I wish they sponsored people, i.e. me, because most of the stuff in this video is from Marshalls. Um, so unfortunately, it's going to be difficult to link a lot of things because of that. However, like, Honestly, a lot of Marshall's TJ Maxx home goods like probably still have these items if you're looking for a couple of these things or if you're looking to snag a couple of these things. But that being said, Marshall's is where I got this storage shelf. Um, when I saw it, I knew that I really wanted to have it just because of the height. Um, I knew I wanted two shelves in the bathroom and this would be one of them. And this cost $40. Um, I use this shelf for sort of decor, um, sort of for storing things. So at the bottom, um, I have two candles. There are my sand and fog candles, which by the way, sand and fog candles at Marshall's slash TJ Maxx, all that whole consortium or whatever are my favorite. The next shelf is um, these ceramic containers. These ceramic containers actually hold my feminine products. Um, so as you can see here, I have <laughs> pads in one of them. The one behind holds tampons. Um, so this is a really like cool way to conceal or to hide. Well, honestly, not that you need to hide, no need to hide your feminine products, but I like the way that this storage container looks on this shelf. So yeah, above that I have towels. 
washcloths, hand towels, the usual. And on top of that, I have this little decor set up here. The basket and the fake plant are from Marshalls. Moving along to the sink area, um, one challenge or some, the challenge of this bathroom in general was just finding out ways to conceal things that were built in to the bathroom. So one of them being the soap dispenser or the soap holder and the toothbrush holder. And I really didn't like the way it looked at all. The metal is old and rusty. And to be honest, I tried to take it out, <laughs> um, but that didn't really work. So I just covered it with these trays that actually came in a set of four, two boxes and two trays from Ikea. Everything, by the way, will be linked in the description box. Um, moving on to the sink area, you see my mouthwash is actually put in an olive oil dispenser. I just thought it was a little more aesthetically pleasing. The soap dispenser and the toothpaste holder, because my toothbrush doesn't fit, are actually a part of a set that I found at TJ Maxx. It was one of the first things that I got for my bathroom. I saw it and I let it go. I was like, oh, I don't need it right now. And then the next day I immediately went back because I was so into it and into the way it looked that I knew I just had to figure out how to incorporate it in my bathroom, which is why I decided to go with a black and white theme for all of the other items in my black bathroom. Um, so yeah, this was from Marshall's TJ Maxx. I saw it at Marshall's as well, but I only saw the, um, a couple of other items as a part of this set, but I found the full set at TJ Maxx. And I can't lie to you, it was fairly expensive for TJ Maxx prices, um, which honestly is understandable because it is so beautiful. Um, at the sink area or under the sink area, I have this rug. It's from Amazon. I really like the print on it and the slippers as well are from Amazon. Next, we move to arguably my favorite part of the bathroom and really the piece that I think elevated this room, which is the storage shelf. This storage shelf is from Ikea. And a little bit of background, I like saw looks with this shelf on Pinterest and I was between this shelf and another shelf that was um, a different outline, a different shape, but also a different finish. It was birch. Um, and I was really, really close to getting this shelf, but um, I realized that my door was like the color of this shelf, of the, the shelf that I eventually got. Um, and it would probably make more sense for me to um, get a shelf that matched to something that was already built in to my bathroom being the door. So that being said, I ultimately went with this shelf, not only because I liked um, the layout and the structure, but also because of the finish and how easily it would be able to match with other items that I wanted to put in my bathroom. So let us get into it. At the bottom of this shelf, I have a basket. The basket is from Target. And here I wanna really emphasize the importance of doing some measuring before you purchase these items. Um, a lot, if not all, besides the Marshalls and TJ Maxx items, all of the items that I have were delivered, were bought online. And so I really had to pay attention to the dimensions listed on the website. And so when I bought this basket from Target, I had to compare to the dimensions of the storage bat of the storage shelf from Ikea and think about like, would this fit? It did, and when it came, it was perfect in height and in um, length and width. So that was absolutely perfect. In this bottom shelf, I have toilet paper toilet paper storage um and above this i have towels that i'm not using at the moment that you know will get into the rotation when the next time comes um, above that i have another one of these storage baskets this one houses body products like body scrubs and body washes um, prior to this i had stored a lot of these in my room which was kind of very annoying because I use them in the shower and so I would always have to carry these items with me from my bedroom to the shower but now I don't have to. Um, above this uh, above this, we have the uh, a tissue box holder and a tissue box of course. Uh, above that now we get to the smaller section shelves, blah, 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 smaller sectioned shelves and there on um, this shelf I have two storage boxes that are from Ikea. Uh, they came as a part of the set that I used, what, the other part that I showed you on the soap holder that's above the sink. Um, and these I just used to hold cotton pads and my spa headband. So, you know, my forever mood is silk headband. You know the vibes. Um, yeah, above that I have a vanity tray that is also a part of this set and a candle. Last but not least, on the top of the shelf, I have 
more for faux plants but I also have a last container that was just meant to hold like things but this bottle of lotion fit perfectly into the container so I figured it would just hold lotion for the time being slash forever. <laughs> um, moving along to the toilet area. So at the toilet area, I have this waste bin. Nothing really special here except for the fact that it's wooden and it was probably the only wooden waste bin that I saw. It's not the same bamboo finish, but that's fine. Everything doesn't have to be matchy matchy. Um, and it is from Target. Uh, next to that, I have a toilet paper stand. Now, you may not be able to tell, but the storage shelf is actually blocking the built-in toilet paper holder, um, and that's fine. I would rather have this storage shelf there, but what that means is I needed another way to hold toilet paper. Above the toilet, I have another basket from Target. Same thing here. I had to make sure that the dimensions would fit or would hold in... Um, in the like above the toilet like the toilet lid yeah whatever you know what I'm talking about um and so this basket just holds the only real plant in the bathroom which is a bamboo plant and a whole bunch of my other fragrance bathroom products so uh poopery an extra glade glade plug-in and Febreze moving along to the shower area Theme of the bathroom was, you know, wooden theme and then black and white. So I got a nice black and white rug from Target. The shower curtain is also a black and white shower curtain from Target. And then I also got these uh, shower curtain holders. Uh, shower curtain holders, is that what they call them? Yeah, these matte black shower curtain holders also from Target. Inside the shower, we have, I mean, some of this is not new. The, um... The caddy that's uh, on my shower is not new, but it is from Marshalls and they like probably forever have them. So if you need a shower caddy, like go there and get them. And then this eucalyptus plant I got from Etsy and I'm really excited to use it. You know, one, it gives me spa vibes. Two, it's good for like sinuses, especially as we get to the cold months. Um, so I will link that in the box down below. So on my walls, I just have three, uh, three pieces of artwork. I want to say that the options for doing a bathroom makeover are, you know, either putting wall art on or doing wallpaper. Of course, this is only if you have a decent amount of wall space. If you don't have wall space, like don't worry about it. But if you do think about, you know, a wallpaper or wall art, I have high ceilings. So I really wouldn't have been able to put wallpaper all on the wall. So I opted for some wall art. The two that I found here are from Marshalls. Those were just like, nope, I lied. They're from TJ Maxx. Um, they were just random pieces that I found. The favorite piece that I have in my bathroom is this print from Decenio. I really, really like it because, or I went for this print specifically because it gives me bathroom vibes. Like the bathroom is where you, you get naked <laughs> to get in the shower. At least I would hope that you don't shower with your clothes on, but it's where you do those things. And I wanted a piece that would reflect like, you know, being in touch with your body, um, showing yourself some love, you know, showing your skin some love, you know, the vibes. So I chose this piece and I got a matching frame from Decenio. I can't lie to you, the Decenio frames are pretty pricey. So definitely be sure to look out for like discount codes and all of that stuff all right i want to thank you again so much for watching and be sure to head to my blog where i go into details and give you guys tips on how to do a makeover i just showed you what i have here but there i give you kind of transferable tips on things to keep in mind if you're planning on doing something similar but not with this exact same setup so hopefully that's helpful to you and i will put that blog post in the description box as well i've been doing a lot of talking so i am happy to conclude this video but thumbs up or notification like let me know i'm gonna be doing the whole series you know my kitchen my living room all that stuff so turn on that bell post notification button and i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>